Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're not too far away from the return of Adrian the Problem Broner. He'll be facing off against Omar Figueroa on August 20th. Both of these fighters have had setbacks in their career. Omar Figueroa is coming off of two straight losses, one against Jordanus Ugas, uh, the other against Abel Ramos. Uh, Adrian Broner, I mean, you know, Anytime he's stepped up in competition, he's really taken a loss. Uh, his most recent fight was against, what was that guy's name? Giovanni Santiago, I believe. 12-round uh, unanimous decision. But before that, uh, he took a loss to Pacquiao, a draw against Jesse Vargas, lost to Mikey Garcia, barely squeaked past Adrian Granados, and, you know, knocked out, well, it was a TKO. Ashley Theo Payne and Khabib, I like Verdia, right? But... As I said just a moment ago, anytime Adrian Broner steps up in competition, he takes an L. Now, as of, what, three or four days ago, there was a press conference to kind of hype up the fight between, you know, Broner and Figueroa, which is kind of crazy to me because I could have sworn when PBC first came out, one of the first fights that was announced was Adrian Broner versus Omar Figueroa. And, you know, PBC's, you know, dropped. It's, it's been a long time since they first debuted and, you know, neither of these guys has gotten in the ring to fight each other. I don't know what the holdup's been, but they're finally getting in the ring. Did we really ask for this fight? Mm, not really. Um, both of these guys really got something to prove. But again, back to the press conference, which is what everyone's talking about. Uh, it was a virtual press conference, and Adrian Broner visibly upset because it was a virtual press conference. He felt that his star power uh, was too much to be contained by way of a Zoom meeting, right? So... You know, in, in a way, I kind of feel for the dude because, I mean, at the end of the day, he's still Adrian the problem, Broner the can man. Anybody can get it, but, you know, he's he's so far removed from being the can man. Uh, is he a big name? Yeah, he's a big name. We, we like his antics, but, you know, at the end of the day, when he gets in that ring, he's not very impressive anymore. You know, he's looking kind of old. He's looking a little little sick now, you know. He's looking a little, little flabby and sick, but um, to his point, I really don't think he should, they should have held a virtual press conference for Adrian Broner with, with just just with regard to his antics and just the type of person he is. Uh, he maybe deserved a little bit more than that. But what he shouldn't have done, and we'll get on this in just a second, what he shouldn't have done was curse out um, his bag givers, Espinosa and Al Heyman. He really shouldn't have dissed them on camera like that. And I think he's, he's come to the realization that he shouldn't have said F them during that presser. Because he's gone back on that and he's apologized uh, for the things that he said. And, you know, he said he was going through something, blah, 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 woo, woo. You know, he's going through something. Adrian Broner's always going through something. You know, I don't believe that for one second. In, in fact, I think he feels exactly the way I feel. He probably shouldn't have been doing a press conference by way of Zoom. Now, have we seen press conferences for other fights uh, virtually, yeah, I, I, I can recall several, actually. And before I made the video, I was like, man, I can't remember the last time I saw a, a, a press conference done virtually, but we have seen a number of them. Um, but, you know, Adrian Broner still thinks he's on the same level of a Floyd Mayweather, a, a Terrence Crawford, a Errol Spence. He thinks his name is up there with those, those type of guys, Canelo, when in actuality, he's not. Because he hasn't really done anything in the ring to deserve that respect uh, of getting a, a presser, you know, in the public, in the public eye, you know, Co Ooh, can't say that word, the C word, you know, the pandemic is still going on. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Now, um, back to Adrian Broner, man. Um, you know, normally him fighting Omar Figueroa, I'll definitely say Omar Figueroa might give him that work in this fight, but Omar Figueroa has been looking kind of flabby and sick as of late too, man. Both of these guys are looking a little washed, you know, they're both looking a little washed, but I'm going to go ahead and support Adrian Broner. Why not? It's entertaining. You know, we know he's not going to get the knockout, but he just might get knocked out. Or he's going to do whatever he can, hugging, grabbing, running to not get knocked out by Omar Figueroa. But I don't know if Omar Figueroa still got it in the tank to do that to Adrian Broner. So it, it realistically, this fight's a waste of our time. It's a complete waste. I wasn't calling for an Adrian Broner fight. I don't know if y'all were. Were you? When was, the, when was the last time you saw Adrian Broner showcase his abilities, 
You know, he's, he's the type of guy that never lets his hands go because he's scared of getting knocked out. You know, it's like he always has those flashbacks to that Madonna fight where he was just getting beaten, battered, man. He got put in a body bag, broken jaw, face all swole up. He don't want to ever experience that again, man. That's why he didn't throw no punches against Mikey, man. He was scared. He didn't throw no punches against Pacquiao. He was scared, man. And I, and I hate to see that. I hate to see a dude who talks so much trash, who's actually, he's actually very entertaining. He's a very entertaining person to watch and listen to, but you just can't believe a word that he says. You know, when he's fighting these little low-level fighters, Theo Payne, uh, Alak Ferdiav, you know, Adrian Granado, who I, I felt, you know, could have edged that fight. You know, he, he, he puts on a show because he's not shook. You know, apparently this fight's going to be a 140. Adrian Broner looks like he's working toward making that weight. I, but, you know, if, if memory serves me correctly, he probably will not come in at 140 for this fight. He will probably come in overweight. Um, I don't see him as being very disciplined. I mean, he's, he's on social media all day, posting nonsense all day. So I'm not sure where his head is at for this fight. And like I said, about Omar Figueroa, he's washed up too. So <laughs> this will be a redeeming fight for, for either of these fighters. But if I had to say truthfully who I think wins this fight, I'm probably leaning towards Omar Figueroa, man. But, you know, I am, um, and, and just because, you know, he's coming off two losses and, you know, he's wanted that Broner fight for some time. I just don't see him not preparing for Adrian Broner appropriately and just putting Adrian Broner to sleep, man, or not in the ring per se, but just, just putting him to, to rest. Like we're, we're tired of Adrian Broner. We're tired of a fighter who has so much potential, takes one loss and just, just becomes the shell of his former self, man. At one time, I remember when Adrian Broner was projected to be what the next Floyd Mayweather, not to say that he was going to be the next Floyd Mayweather, but you know, he has some really good, he had, he showcased some really good skills in the ring and his ability to just, you know, talk, to the people outside the ring really made him a polarizing figure. So at the moment, I see him taking a loss, man. But you know what? It's all good because I'm still going to ride with the can, man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans. I love the slogans, man. I love his slogans, you know, but just you got to show me something this fight. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all out there are probably going to watch this fight and support the fight, but you're probably just like me. You got one more chance to getting ass whooping before we stop supporting them. Hitman Boxing, like the video, subscribe, comment, I'm out.